This is the setup that I have for a slotting machine on my lathe. The lathe is a, a good way 1640, which is uh, 16 inches by 40 inches. Um, we'll start up this end. This is a degree wheel that I have on the on the end. Um, it's quite large, quite a long time to make. Um, that's so I can get some accuracy. Um, the small lines, I have a line um, around here, this line here. If um, the degrees don't multiply into 360, I can um, run around there with a divider and, uh, and mark off uh, exactly where they are. I have, uh, have done it um, and it works quite well. It takes a while to, uh, to, to get it exactly right. But, but it, it does work. So any any uh, number of teeth or splines uh, I could do. So we come back up to um, this end here. This is a, um, uh, a slotter. Um, it's got minimum I can get is a 70 mil uh, stroke. Um, I'll show you down the other end in a second. And I've made a um, I've made a uh, tool post, two po two tool post holder for the 40 position uh, tool post. I've made two of those, so I just got to cut cut them up, and um, and uh, we'll pull this off in a minute and uh, see if it fits. So I've driven at this end, um, of running a um, uh, an air air, um, air and coolant. Um, I found that a lot better than just the coolant on the um, from the lathe uh, coming on it. It wasn't covering the whole thing very well. Uh, you might notice my um, very uh, very high tech oiler that I have there. I've got little uh, grooves that go all the way around inside, so uh, it, I'm not that happy with the amount of oil that comes through. But so I just add a little bit more to it. And up this end is I've driven it from. Uh, a, uh, a worm gear motor that I had and uh, bolted to where the tailstock goes and I've actually cut cut it cut it all in you might be able to see the uh, the, the dovetail or the groove there um, it took quite a lot quite a long time to make so it just bolts down and um, it's a piece of rod that I've got here solid I decided to go with the solid instead of a bit of a bit of pipe so it acts uh, so it's had a bit of momentum a bit of inertia um, and um, then it works quite, works quite well.
Removed uh, some of the uh, ancillary stuff that's around here, so we're going to pull this off and uh, see how uh, whether it actually fits or not. Let's see if I've done all my calculations correctly. I think it should fit a little bit loose. I think I've cut a bit deep. Just going by the look, on well, my calculations, it should have been right, but maybe, maybe a little deep. Some of these things are trial and error. So here it goes, we seem to... Too bad. A little bit tight. Just touch that up with a little file. And I think it should be, be good enough. It doesn't have to slide in, it just actually has to fit down. Here's the uh, finished product. So um, they're only made out of mild steel, so I'm only using them as uh, uh, light duty stuff. And uh, I've made them a bit, the, the steel I had was a bit thinner, so we, we don't go the full distance. So they're about um, three quarters of the size of, um, of, the, of the standard ones. So they don't have a full grip on there, um, but I just use them as a, as a, as a centering rollers in these ones. This one now. There it is. Um, that runs up onto the face up here to, to level or center, level anything that's uh, that way, and, uh, and centering rollers to center it that way. The other one, I'm just using it as a um, as a chamfer tool, so it uh, just pops in there. Uh, I've used both of them a few times now, they, they seem to work well, but uh, there's a closer look. Okay everyone, that's, um, oh, there you go, that's, uh, uh, thanks for watching, hope some people get some ideas about it, thank you.